Greetings tankers, my name is Adam Snellgrove and welcome to Best Replays, and a very special episode too, in which we will take a closer look at the three newly released tanks and give you some tips and tricks on how to maximise your performance in them. So stick around, like, subscribe and hit that bell icon like you always do. Oh and before I forget, big thanks to Awesome Epic Guys Discord for helping us with this one, you lot rock. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. First on our list, it is everyone's favourite HE spammer, the BZ-176. Or least favourite, depending on which side of the gun you happen to find yourself. With our hero, Andy Rain, using their rocket power nice and early in this particular replay. Only to end up facing a chieftain. Yeah. Still, you should most definitely use your rocket boost early to get into a strong position before the enemy. While we're at it, I would highly recommend using ventilation, vertical stabilizer and a rammer as the equipment of choice. With turbo or improved hardening being valid options as well. Finally, after full three minutes, Adirain gets their first taste of damage, against that very chieftain no less. Still, fighting higher tier heavy tanks frontally is not what Adirain has on their agenda. Instead, it is much more efficient to swoop in while the enemies aren't paying attention. Aiming for the thinly armoured roof or weak spot to deal maximum damage. Hey, I'm pretty sure that's not how physics are supposed to work. Ooh, nothing beats the feeling of obliterating a chieftain in a tier 8 tank. This one, however, well, let's better not talk about it. Nor the fact that Adirain stands alone against five enemy tanks itching to add the newest premium to their kill feed. On the bright side, none of these enemies seems particularly HE resistant. Nor RAM resistant! Kill! Adi Rain is bringing the fight to the enemy. Now only if this IS-3 would come closer. Whoa! Careful what you wish for, Adi Rain! Shot. Now all that remains is that singular IS-3 merrily capping while its teammates perished. Oh, what a juicy snapshot! But with just over 20 seconds of reload, the IS-3 is free to retaliate. and Addy Rain does not let a golden opportunity like this slip. GG. A masterful display by Addy Rain while being bottom tier. Knowing when to shoot and when to scoot, plus that amazing rocket propelled ram means we could not pass on this replay. Oh, and 8,053 damage, 7 kills, plus 2,321 base experience might have played a small part in that too. In any case, a replay well worthy of 2,500 gold and our best replay style. Congratulations! Next up, we've got H737 showcasing us the Iron Arnie, the newest medium tank introduced to the game. 
Somewhat similar to a Super Pershing, however, featuring much improved speed and a punchier gun. At the expense of meeting tier 10 tanks, sometimes even on maps such as Paris. Oh, so far so good. The 105mm gun is really proving to be a game changer. Being able to keep up with the heavy tanks in terms of damage while having sufficient armor protection to take trades like this one. Oh, and in case you were wondering, Adam's equipment of choice would be ventilation, rammer, and a vertical stabilizer. You can't go wrong with that one on an American medium tank. Nor without flanking the entire enemy team just five minutes into the game. Hasta la vista, baby. And that would be a top gun. I'm sure H737 made Arnie proud with that one. Although we still have a battle to win, let's not forget that. With the T22 medium hiding right over there, it can only mean one thing. We've got a T95 situation over here. So a two-pronged assault will be needed. As to not end up like this poor tanker. And that's all she wrote. GG. A very solid game by H737 demonstrating the power of Iron Arnie. Like that was necessary for a tank named after the legend himself, duh. Dealing 6,072 damage as a bottom tier tank, scoring six kills and 1,856 base experience in an all round great game. Take this best replay style and 2,500 gold, H737. Well done. For the finale, we've got the most polarizing tank of them all, the Shah MLE 75. The tier 9 premium tank driven here by Carol. What's unique about this tank is the turbo mode, offering significantly more engine power at the expense of camo rating, view range, shells per clip, intra clip reload, your own sanity, and turret traverse. While in its normal mode, it serves as a fantastic passive spotter. with a unique three-shot burst fire. Although very enjoyable, this tank has an incredibly high skill ceiling. Meaning one single overextension could spell disaster. As for builds, I offer you not one, but two this time. For those zoomers among you, it's going to be vents, vertical stabilizer, and improved aiming. While those more reliant on trees and bushes might appreciate CVS, optics, and low noise exhaust. And while I don't encourage you to redline snipe in this tank, some exceptions can be made. Namely against oblivious enemies like these. Oh, so close. However, there's no time to waste with this friendly base in peril. And that's another shell being wasted into the wreck of the 60 TP with just nine APCR remaining in total. Wait, what happened? 
Well, now they just made the game a lot more tricky for Carol. Yep. Phew! Thank you, Hand of Orange Jesus, for guiding those three shells. And as if on cue, the Leopard One reveals itself by entering the green capture circle. There's just one problem. The average potential damage of the six remaining shells would be 1200, while we can see that the Leopard One still has 1500 HP remaining. In other words, yikes! Here we go. That's incredible! One of the APCR shells lights the Leo on fire, which is exactly what Carol needed. This game is over! GG! Whoa, what a dramatic ending that was! Carol played every engagement to perfection, managing their shells and HP to win the most unlikely of games. All while scoring a whopping 7,072 damage, 4 kills and 1,701 base experience. A masterful achievement in a tank with only 42 shells in total. I really hope those of you struggling to master the Shah found a few helpful tips and tricks in this replay, which is why Carol gets 2,500 gold and naturally a best replay style. Congratulations! And that would be all we've got for you this week, dear viewers. We've seen some amazing games in the newly introduced tanks, and thus we'd like to hear from you now. Which of these replays have impressed you the most? Or even better, which of the new tanks has been the go-to for you? Let us know down in the comments, we do love reading those. And once again, a big thank you to our army of volunteers, without whom this one would not be possible. Until another very special episode next week, I'm Adam Snowgrove, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio!